didn't, I didn't see that. Uh, but yeah, all right. And so what do you think about all this stuff? You know, you already heard. Um, I'm over here washing clothes and sis. Like, like I said, so Angie, you you have you, have you ever talked to a, a, a woman ten years younger than you or been you know entertained by some woman ten years younger than you? Or that's not your company that you want to Have I been entertained by by one? Yeah, like yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Like, like, yeah. like, I mean, I'm willing. I mean, women still gotta be grown. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to deal with no child. But it's it's funny you say that shit. And I might break up a little bit because I'm driving. I might. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. But um, I, there, there was one woman I was talking to. We, we were dating probably about what back in 2012. Oh. And I've been dying off and on for like years. And I linked up with her probably about maybe six months ago, seven months ago. Right. And she, she said to me, like, you know, when we, when we first met, you didn't know, did you know I was seven? I was only 17. And I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Right. Yep. Of course, it, did, it did, didn't matter. It doesn't matter now. But... This chick was 17 years old when we first got together. I didn't know that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, I mean, a lot of times, it's, you, you, you're dealing with somebody younger, and you don't even know. No. In this day and do you, do you think it's incumbent upon us as a, uh, men that we should start asking those questions before we go? You know what I'm saying? Like, I get yeah, you. Yeah. Like, like, I get you. Like, nowadays, like, I've had a scare where in fact that's actually never okay <laughs> but that's just something that's the answer you accepted uh you know so you wouldn't feel guilty about you know what you you know did and what you continue to do because you're someone that doesn't really ask those questions at all <laughs> and you know some of your age because you're you know you're in your 40s now you can basically tell the difference between, you know, an underage girl versus a girl of age. You can see the experience on them with a lack thereof. It's pretty easy. But, you know, you have to basically get it how you live, right? You know, a face like that is only suitable for radio. <laughs> and you barely have the talent to even keep the attention of that. All you really do is dick lick and dick ride everybody your claim to fame is having a panel full of monkeys arguing which is fine i hope that does work out for you you know you do need the the money to keep up with your uh you know two-bedroom apartment that you're paying what, 11 five for you know that you're struggling to basically keep food in your refrigerator you're the same guy that basically chooses, you know, paying for a microphone over taking care of your child support. Mm, mm, mm. You're a sick, sad son of a bitch. There's certain conversations you really can't have. With me. It's just, there's a lot of conversations you can't have with me, you know. But, you know, I digress. And the thing that actually does wonders for my ego is that even yet and still with a village, you're getting everybody in the village to come against, oh, little old me with the struggling dead channel. <laughs> I guess it's actually more than just clicks, views, and likes after all. Hmm. Thank you, man. <laughs> you know, that's just, you know, feeling to have and knowing I still have real estate in your head, you know, a year later. Mm. Well, hopefully you feel better, you know. I don't know about right now, but, you know, but for the moment, I mean, I'm sure you 
should feel better. You know, and just uh, make sure you keep up with your payments. You know, you can't talk to me about priorities. There's a lot of things you really can't talk to me about or talk with me about. You know, but that's just a different conversation. You know, you know we could play truth fable you know my truth for your fable you know we'll see which one actually wins you know it doesn't matter how many you know um, you know generate low life rejects societal rejects that should get behind you you'll never beat me you know I know you were sitting there with your Apple Jacks, you know, listening to the videos that I had and said, you know, one day I'm going to beat him. One day I'm going to beat the big bad wolf. Yeah. I admire the ambition, though. You know, and uh, I actually wish you luck. <laughs> Because you only need it.